In this short video, we're going to see how to concatenate and split strings in Python. Hi, my name is Brett Romero, and we're going to jump right in by creating some variables to hold fruits. And we're going to then concatenate and split apart these fruits. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a few different kinds of fruits that we can work with. And the last one here is going to be dates. And I'm going to create a list, so this is going to be the fruit list, to hold everything. And then I can just print them out and we'll see what they look like. So here I'm concatenating these using a plus sign. And then I'll print F list and run that. So you'll notice there's no spacing in between it. To give it a little bit better presentation, I am going to add a space between each of these fruits. And now if I run it, we've got a space. So again, it was just going back to using that plus, and we were able to introduce some pretty good formatting. Now we can look at another way to do this kind of formatting and this kind of joining of things together. And that's going to be by using the join command or join function. So if I do a new list here, it's going to be efficient list. I am going to join all of this and that's just created by whatever you want to join it with dot join. Right now I'm saying I'm going to join everything with a space. So let's see what this looks like. And I'm going to create a list because a list is needed. It's actually joining whatever you put before the join function is going to join it in between each of the list items. So I've got apple, cherries, dates. And now if I go ahead and run, I'm going to replace this. You can see what's happening. We've got our join working pretty good here. Now if I want to add a little bit more formatting, I can by adding a comma. So there's going to be a comma space between each of these. Now notice I've got more than one character that I'm using to join and that's fine. I can add more if I want. So let's see what this looks like. That's a pretty good format right there by using the join command. Now we can look at splitting this apart. So I'm just going to clear this and what I want to do now is work on split. So I'm, I've got my efficient list and I am going to do a split on the commas. And if I print that, we can see what it looks like. Run that. So this error is because I don't have my comma inside of quotes. It wants a string right there. But there's also one minor issue here. I need a capital L there. So if I run it now, we get a listing of everything split by comma. So this list over here has apple, cherries, and dates. And if I want to, I can put all of that inside of a variable. So I can call this split list like that. And then I can just do split list. And if I run it, I, everything that I put into my variable is output now. I'm just going to clear this real quick. Now there's something else you can do with this split so that you can get the first occurrence of an item. So I'm just going to put this back up on the board here. So if I tell it comma one, it's going to split at the first comma and I'm going to end up with two elements rather than three. So let's go ahead and try this and see what happens. Now in our list here, you can see I've got apple one element and I've got this over here which is our second occurrence and in fact what I can do now is something like this to access those elements so this is zero index based and that's why I'm using a zero and split list with one run so you can see what we do we have this is split list zero and this is split list one now before we could have accessed all three items, but not in this case. Now I can go ahead and split it again. I'm just going to clear this. Now if I split this on two, I'm going to get back two elements because we have two commas. So it's really going to be no effect 
compared to what we were doing before. And this time I can go ahead and access my third element. Run that. And there we have all of our elements. So if I keep going and I split it on three, it's not going to have an effect there. So it's not going to error out on us, although we're really past our indexing or our number of commas that we have. So that's how you can use concatenation with joining and splitting of strings in Python.